seems like everybody in New Orleans has a ghost story and one that was the kind of spark for this novel came just after the storm when I was having my tarot cards read in the French Quarter and the guy reading my cards said that he was very freaked out and there were lots of ghosts wandering where they shouldn't be and the storm had managed to displace many ghosts. The novel is set in contemporary New Orleans after the storm. It's about a teenage girl called Rebecca who is from New York and she's sent to live down here very suddenly in the middle of the school year and she's quite lonely and has no friends but she becomes friendly with a ghost called Lisette. Through Lisette, Rebecca is able to explore the city of New Orleans and in particular its secret world of ghosts. Lisette died in 1853 in very mysterious circumstances and finding out about how Lisette died and why is at the heart of the novel. Rebecca's romantic interest in the novel is a boy called Anton Gray, who is a scion of one of the, the wealthy families here, the Gray family. There are certain expectations of Anton from his parents of the kind of school he'll go to, of what he'll become in life, of who he'll marry, and Rebecca to him, as this sort of quite strange outsider, represents something entirely different to him. I was very keen to write Mardi Gras into the novel. It's an essential part of our culture here. It also has kind of a sinister past, and I was interested in exploring in the novel the exuberant festivity of it, and also its quite creepy undertones. Lafayette Cemetery is a very beautiful place, but it's also quite shabby. It has many little narrow alleyways and shadowy corners, and I thought it would be an amazing setting for a ghost story and also for a murder mystery.